There he is. Sorry, did I wake you up? Morning, everyone. Today, I'm finally getting back around to putting the rear blinkers on the motorcycle. So I ordered a set of blinkers back when I was in New York. And this is them. Uh, they are, what do you want to call them? Uh, I don't know. They're a lot sharper angled than the original ones. You know, the original, and you can see the original front ones that are on here. You know, very round and soft. And then you compare, you compare that. And I only ordered one pair at the time. Um, I don't know what the reason was, but finding a set of four that were going to deliver in time before I left New York, there was some issue. So I got two of them. And now that I am getting around to putting them on, I really want to put two of them on the front too, because these front ones look kind of, I don't know, dopey, you want to call it? So that's what I'm working on today. So what I've done so far, side covers off, seat is off. So a little bit of wiring to take care of right now. And these are the brackets that came with the new blinkers. And they don't really work on this bike. So I figured out a way to use them. I'm going to cut right here where you see this yellow line. I'm going to use my Dremel tool and a cutoff wheel. got the brackets cut, sanded, and spray painted. So, okay, which side did I cut? I did such a good job. <laughs> There, that's gonna feel a little bit better. It is getting really warm today in that direct sunlight. Clear my work area. A clean work area is a safe work area. That'll go on somebody's campfire as soon as they lift the fire ban. These just have a simple single post mount. Well, so far it looks like it's gonna work. I have been known at times to get deep into something like this and forget one little piece of info and then it all falls apart and doesn't work <laughs> like you can't get the nut on the back or you know something crazy like that but looks like that's gonna work let's get the other one on there hmm. yeah, looks like it's gonna work and that's right Okay, so it's just like that. Green is left.
Well, I got a problem. So the blinkers that I ordered are supposed to blink amber, and they're blinking blue. So they have several different varieties of this same blinker. They blink blue, they blink green, yellow, amber. Obviously, I got the blue ones. I was supposed to get amber. <laughs> so uh, all this work, and it's not worth wiring these in because I don't want blue blinkers because that's not good to have blue blinking lights. So I'm gonna remove these. At least I have the brackets on there and I know how to install. I'm gonna have to get another pair. Okay, after a, a long hiatus on this project, I finally have the replacement blinkers. So this company sold, um, I told the story, a few different colors of this same model blinker. And this one showed up labeled as amber, but it was blue. So I contacted them. They sent me a new set, exact same label, shows amber. And these are amber. I just tested one of them. Uh, and you can tell by looking at, I don't know if I can get it to show up on camera, but the lenses actually look different um, without even lighting them up. The amber, the lens looks amber. These others that actually blinked blue, the lens looks clear, so they must have a blue LED in them. So the blue ones are just going to go on the shelf. Uh, maybe I'll hand them off to somebody. I don't know what you're going to do with blue blinkers. Uh, I just tested one of these. It is amber, so we're going to go ahead and get these installed. This should be a pretty easy... You remember I put the brackets on before, so the brackets are here. So all I got to do is just um, uh, feed the wire up through here, connect them up, and I'll be all set. So this shouldn't take too long at all, and then we'll have we'll have blinkers on the bike again. I've been riding using hand signals. that so that's wrapped up in the fabric tape Uh, 
I think uh, I think that's it. I'm gonna call that done. So I chose these lights because I thought that they would look better kind of with the angular style of the plastics. So now I just need to replace the front ones. You see the front one right there, how it's just a round kind of old style. Outdated. And then you look at the, the back one and it's much more angular and I think it fits better with the style of the bike. Now, if I just had a pair for the front, I think that would look really sharp. You know, the front's very angular and those kind of oval shaped lights really throw it off. So I'll probably just order another set at some point and replace the front ones. I think it'll look a lot better. So thanks everybody for watching. This video spanned a few months to finally get done because of the uh, the incorrect blinkers and figuring out the brackets and then getting the new ones and now just finally getting my lazy butt back in gear and getting them installed. So thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Everybody take care and be safe. It's a crazy world we live in right now. And I hope you're all doing really well. We'll see you soon. There he is. Sorry, did I wake you up? <laughs>